Good morning. Um, just setting up here as usual. Making a lot of wax seals today, and I have a few products that are making this pretty easy. And I did put links to them in the description. I attempted to, so it should be there. And hi, Madeline. Um, long time no talk. That was stupid. Um, so I got this silicone silicone mold and it is making wax seal making so fun. Um, it doesn't make it really any quicker, but it just makes it really satisfying because the wax seals end up being all like uniform and nice. Um, I do feel like they cool off a little bit quicker actually too. That might be in my head, but anyways, um, I, these all should be pretty dry or yeah, not dry, but cooled off. So I'm going to take them out and then I'll just kind of share my process with you. I'm using, a, um, I'm using glue guns here so much more easy than any other method. And I'm using a glue gun. Uh oh that is clear, like just regular glue. And then I'm using one that has wax seals in it. Whoops, and I didn't have this ready, but that's okay. This is the longest I have kept this in here for. So now I realize that you can't do that with the glue. Okay, that's okay though. Nope, not too late. So yeah, the only thing um, about this is just kind of figuring out how much wax or glue to put in the mold. But I've done like two rounds of this now and I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So <clears throat> I'm going to remove these and then we'll just make some together from scratch. And I am going to be using some wax, uh, me metallic gilding polish to kind of make the imprints a little bit more obvious. Now, let me see if I can show you the shape on here. So actually, I'm going to use some of the gold because you'll be able to see better. It's a little bit different than if you were to make these just on paper or on like a mat or whatever. And I'll show you what I mean. Like the raised edges are a little bit more, um, they're not circular, I guess you could say. I don't. Let me just show you. Let's just see if I can show you. I like it though. Um, it's just, it might not be everyone's cup of tea. Well, <laughs> I didn't do the best job here, but you'll, you'll see. So there, it's a lot more indented. Let's see if I can even get this to focus because it's so little. I feel like that's not focusing. I don't know how to explain it. It's a lot more of a crater. Um, so I, I like it. I think it looks actually pretty cool. Here, let me, I didn't get the gold on that one too well. Some of the um, designs are a little bit harder than others to use the gold on, if that makes sense. I'm gonna do this one right here, which is a rainbow. And it is even a little bit harder too to get the gold gilding polish onto the raised image. But you could use one of those pens, the gold um, or a metallic paint pen. I hate using those, so I'm not gonna, but I think you can see with this one a little bit better. So you can see it's like a pretty, the, the surrounding circle, it's pretty raised, if that makes sense. Um, I have been experimenting with different amounts of wax, but it seems like it always ends up making that. I like it. I'm just saying it is a little dimensional, if you will. So I'm hoping that's okay. Now I got to think about that. I'm hoping that's okay for um, the mail, but I think it'll be okay. I'm not going to overthink it. I should put it in an envelope really quick. And by the way, I'll read the, I'll read your comments in just a sec. Um, let me grab an envelope and actually test that out. See what I think. Just use a small one here. Because I do have to send these in the mail. And then also 
Hmm. I mean, it's definitely not heavy, but it's definitely dimensional. So I think it's going to be okay. Have any of you um, tried making these with a silicone mold and sending them in the mail? Because I am curious how that will go. But I'm already doing it, so it might just be a little bit of a trickier month. So, hi, Stephanie. I um, got glue today. A case of glue. That's nice. Thanks. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is from Stephanie. I also have a package from Jasmine, and I thought maybe we could open that, but I'm going to continue with the wax seals for a bit here. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? Oh, you got yourself a mat also? Yeah, it definitely is super fun. Hi, Gina and Amy. You got a mat also. I'm so glad so many of you um, got one of these. And Jean. Mm -mm. Hi, Danielle. Yeah, okay, so let me go ahead and just take these out. I'm not going to put the gilding polish on right now. I'm going to go ahead and take these out and then we'll just make some together. Yeah, it is a bit of a learning process to figure out how much wax you need. And I do feel like when you put the wax in um, the hot glue guns that it does melt the wax a bit more. And so um, it can be a little bit thin where you press down, if that makes sense. Like I've had a couple, but only in the beginning, I had a couple where it was too thin. And so, you know, it breaks or like this one. Um, I can tell it's like, whoops, <laughs> it's like see-through almost. I can see through it and that would break pretty quick. But I, but only three of those ended up like that. And I realized pretty quickly that I needed to be adding more wax and I let it sit for um, a few seconds so that it can start to harden up before putting the wax seal stamp down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove all these and we'll just start fresh and make some together. I am also, and if you, are curious I'm making these for my patreon members so that's why I'm saying that I have to mail them Oops. I'm making these and I'm making some faux postage stamps you know I thought I'd set one aside a faux postage stamp um, I thought I set one aside to show you but maybe not well I probably did but where is it I don't know dang I've made a lot of these this morning actually now that I'm realizing so it's going quicker than I thought, but again, it is still pretty time consuming because you have to wait in between. But my favorite ones that I'm working on are these little pressed flower wax seal tokens, I'm going to call it. They are lined with paper. I'm doing clear glue or wax, whatever you want to call it. And then they each have either a pressed flower or a pressed leaf. And I'm probably going to just put the gold gilding polish around the rim of the wax seal. And then with the paper, it's kind of pretty because a lot of them you can see the print through. Um, it's a little hard to see on camera, but like that one has a little flower. It has a real pressed flower and then the paper has florals. And this particular silicone mat also came with these double sided adhesive dots and they are the perfect size. I'm going to actually pull these out. I have an Amazon haul. I actually have two Amazon hauls coming. My Amazon hauls are always like a bit behind, but I already put the links to all of these things in this video, but I also have an Amazon haul coming to show you all the things that I recently bought. And I see my mom's in here. So hello mom. Love you. Um, I'm going to, I want to try out one of these adhesive dots really quick. I'm getting kind of sidetracked, but whoa, these smell like really strong glue. So yeah, this is cool. So then you already have a little adhesive dot and then that's so nice for when you actually want to go to use it on a project. 
and just pull up the backing. I have nails, so this is all hard, but I can tell the backing comes off pretty easy. So that's exciting. I'm gonna try one of these adhesive dots onto just the back of a wax seal because I just kind of want to see how good it sticks to just the wax. Oh, it's definitely good. That's a good, strong adhesive. And these adhesive dots, again, they came with the mat. Um, on Amazon, you can either find the mat separate or you can find it as a pair. So I made sure to put the link to the one that I got since it included the um, adhesive dots. Okay, I also have a one inch circle punch coming. I don't have that yet, so for now, I have been, I found, I found um, just something in my craft room that wasn't an inch, and I am just doing it the old fashioned way. And tracing it, just because I wanted to start getting some of them made. I'm only going to do this. I'm just going to make two of these. Um, I'm not lining all of them with paper. I'm only lining the ones that I am using the glue since it's see-through because you wouldn't really see the paper through um, the regular wax seals. However, <clears throat> It might not be a bad idea, like if you have a punch and if it's easy, it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and line these ones as well, only because it's gonna make them extra sturdy. So that's kind of a good idea, but that would be very time consuming without a punch, for me at least, because I'm making so many. But my punch should be here, I thought it was gonna be here yesterday, but I guess it's not gonna be here till today, actually. So for all I know, it might be on my doorstep. Maybe I should go check. Yeah. I'm just gonna cut out two of these though for now. And they are the perfect fit. And then we'll get to making some. Okay. I don't mind cutting out little circles, but <laughs> not really also what I want to do with my time. Okay, let me go check my doorstep because there's a chance that my circle punch is here. Before I get started, let me just catch up on the comments. My mom's here, that's exciting. Um, I just had my sister make 200 wax seals for me, but she stamped them right onto my handmade envelopes. That's awesome. Um, Amy says, I make wax seals, but never have used a glue gun. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You'll see here how easy it is. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, and other Stephanie, the one who bought, got me the glue here. Thank you. You're sweet. And that is so helpful. Hi, Sarah. It's always nice to catch you on your lunch break. And Gina, you said you have three sets of circle punches, never made wax seals. Well, maybe, maybe this will kind of inspire you. I mean, look, I just made all of these this morning. I was kind of trying out the mat and everything before I came on the live. Um, okay, so let's first of all grab some pressed flowers. I am kind of worried now thinking about how well these are going to go through the mail just because they're a little dimensional, but, and they're going to be inside an envelope. I'm also, I also purchased little cello, uh, I never know how to say it, but little plastic bags and I'm going to put these inside of the plastic bag so they will be protected. Um, anyways, I'm using little flowers. You know, let me bring you in a little bit better, actually. I'm gonna do that. Why don't you do that, Jessica? I'm gonna flip you guys around so that you can really see here. Um, 
So sorry, it's gonna be loud for a minute. <laughs> Let me flip you around. I just want you guys to be able to see this a little bit better though. Ugh, that is an awful noise. So sorry. So let's plug all of that back in. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Come on. This thing won't tighten up. There we go. Okay. Just going to have to be a little sideways because I also want to be able to read the comments, but... I think it'll be okay. Okay, so for the paper lined ones, these are gonna be the ones that I'm putting a little either pressed flower or leaf. I'm gonna put a little leaf on this one. And then I have all my wax seals ready to go. This is a flat one that I like to use for the pressed flowers. So yeah, this is a very old glue gun here and it's just a regular size glue gun, very old, but it works. It works, but I also have to kind of press on the glue. I don't know if any of you have that problem with your glue guns, I feel like it's a common thing. This is a little trickier just because it's glue and not wax, it does not come out as quickly. At the same time, these ones don't, oh shoot, oh well, I wasn't gonna do two. <laughs> Uh, at the same time, these ones come out a little bit thicker than the wax, and it's actually kind of nice. Okay, so I accidentally did this one, but that's okay. I'm going to use... Oh, nice. I do have... Most of these are designs, and I don't know that how good it would look. Well, let's just go for it anyways. Let's just try it out. We'll see. We'll experiment. Um, okay. So the rest of them, I'm gonna use this glue gun. I love this one, it has a little stand, it works good. I have this one linked. And I've been going between this starry blue wax seal and this um, like pastel kind of grayish one. And it's cool because in between, they mix, the colors mix like that and it looks really awesome. But this blue color I think is really pretty on its own, sorry, I'm trying to figure out where the camera is. Okay, so for this one, like I said, you, you'll have to experiment on your own to figure out kind of how much, but I usually do like two full pumps, if you will, but everyone's is gonna be different, probably even if you have the same glue gun, you know, it's gonna depend on what kind of wax you have and like how hot yours is. I'm gonna let these, I'm gonna fill up uh, like four of these because I think I have four, uh-oh. And then when it gets empty, I need to put in a new one. It's okay. Okay, those look cool. So again, I, I you know, I wanted to wait probably, I don't know what, was it like 20 seconds-ish in between? Otherwise, since this wax is so thin, it goes kind of all the way down to the bottom and it will be too thin. So you just gotta give it a sec, but you don't wanna wait too long. And I just kind of set it down. If you can see, I'm not sure if you can, but like this one, the wax isn't going completely to the edge, but that's okay, it's gonna be pushed out I find that adding more when you've already kind of let it sit can make it look kind of weird. So I'd rather just go for it. You know, we're, you don't need to get a perfect look in my opinion. They are handmade. So while those are waiting, I am going to go ahead and start adding gold to these ones and I'll read really interesting process. Yeah, it is. It's honestly, it's pretty fun. <clears throat> Hello to South Florida. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. How are you? 
And it's a little trickier since I have nails, but I just try to get a little bit, not too much. And then just kind of get it on the raised part of the image. And again, this just helps it kind of stand out and I think it looks pretty. I like to get it around the edges. Doesn't have to go all the way around because like this color of wax is really pretty on its own, but there you can kind of see how that helps it pop. So I'm just gonna start doing that to a few of these. While we're waiting, I need to turn this air off. It's really hot in here right now. We've got rainbow. So yeah, I have a variety of uh, different wax seals I'm using here. I was thinking about maybe making some of these little tokens with the adhesive on the back um, for my shop. Um, and if I did that, I'll probably line them with the paper. Uh, so yeah, I'll do like sets of 10 or something like that. I don't know. I think I'll do that. I am actually going to start listing things on my website that I have available for my Patreon members. And so you don't have to be a Patreon member to purchase the things, but you know, obviously it's going to be, I have to figure out the pricing and whatnot. Like it's going to be a little bit more expensive just to buy as a, on its own kind of thing. They'll just be like little packs of whatever it is I'm making for Patreon, but I'll probably include like some different things as well. If any of that makes sense. <laughs> I haven't quite narrowed it all down, but so you can buy the things a la carte. Ooh, this one's fun. This is a kind of a mushroom scene with some wildflowers and whatnot. I feel like my camera is not focusing well. Can you even see that? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need to wipe my camera off. Um, I have stuff all over my hands, but one sec. <laughs> Sorry guys. We'll see if that helps. I just bought a bunch of wax seal stampers from Timu. Oh, that's cool. Now I'm going to have to buy the matte and colored wax. Yeah, that's awesome. Karen, never try using a glue gun. I just tried the old school way. I saw someone use a regular glue gun to make wax seals. Yeah, um, I mean, I used to do it the old school way, but if you want to make a lot, it's just pretty time consuming and I don't find it fun at all that way. I mean, it is if you're just making one or two, but it's also still kind of just like a, ugh, such a thing. This is kind of like a fern or something like that. I got, I don't know, a fern, I don't know if that's the right. This one's a little harder to get in here and put the gold on, but I feel like it really makes it pop nicely. I feel like this one I can tell is a little thin, so I'll probably put this one to the side. It's still usable, but I don't know if I want to send it in the mail kind of thing, you know? So I wait about, um, probably 10 minutes in between. Yeah, this one has like very raised edges. It looks cool though. Let's see. Um, so yeah, like I have noticed from the, there we go. For these ones, the ones with the, oh, you can't see. The ones that have the hot glue, 
I have found that you don't want to leave it on there for too long, otherwise it kind of seems like it gets a lot more stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut it out another circle. I know you can't see me over here, I'm just tracing. Whoops, I'm just tracing a circle over here. cut this out. I can't wait to get my circle punch in the mail. I had an inch circle punch somewhere and I just can't find it. I looked everywhere. So maybe I got rid of it. I don't know. I actually did a video on faux wax seals like gosh I think it was four years ago it's on my channel um and I tried out different ways to make wax seals without having like the traditional supplies so you know if you're seeing this video and you're like dang I really want to make some of these but I don't have the supplies um you can probably type in paper terrace faux wax seals and I bet the video will come up. I should have thought about it and had the link. I can try to add that later, but honestly, I'll probably forget. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't put a flower in this one, but that's okay. Let me try. Actually, is it too late? No, probably not. Uh, hurry up, Jessica. No, it's probably too late. They're like all stuck together. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna put it on top, but then I'm gonna put, oh, whoops, wrong one, a little extra on top of it, if that makes sense. So maybe we'll experiment. We'll just see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's see, Karen. Yes, it's super time consuming to mass produce. Yeah, they are, but you know. Cindy, hi Jessica, I've watched your hauls that have inspired me to try some items that you use. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, how funny, I'm so glad you made it, Cindy. You got the clear honey or amber colored bead, bead wax and those seals are really pretty because they look just like an artifact with something stuck inside the amber. Oh, that's really cool, nice, love that. Okay, these are probably good. So I'm just gonna keep those on there for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start filling up some more of these. Again, I'm gonna do like two pumps. One, two, Oh, that one looks really cool. Look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna kind of move these down. It's hard to talk while I'm doing this because I feel like I need to concentrate. Um, okay, and oh, I made I forgot I did one over here. Go. So we'll just have one more here to go. Oops. I should have grabbed, I don't know if I have any more of the lighter colored wax. I should have bought some, but that's okay. I really like the blue. I just like mixing them though. It looks really cool. I, should, I could have waited another second before putting that down, but yeah, get it. Let me see if I do have any more. Oh, cool. I have one more of the lighter colors. Um, I actually have a third glue gun. I'm not gonna get it out right now, but it take it's a miniature one and it takes the little um, glue gun size, if that makes sense. So 
Um, and this is a really pretty like rose gold color. So I could use that too. Um, I'm not going to right now, but just so you know, like on Amazon, there are all kinds of different sizes and whatnot. But let me see. Um, are you using crystal clear glue gun stick over your clusters? Um, I like the glue gun. I like using the glue gun over melting the wax and pouring it. Yes, I do. It's so much quicker. Um, yeah, and it's easier, I think. I always found that it was so hard to get the right amount if I was melting it in a little spoon and pouring it. And once you pour it, like you can't add more really quick, you know what I mean? Um, so this is way easier to control and it's quicker. Um, it does seem like it takes up more wax if that may, or not, not more wax. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, <laughs> I feel like I need a lot more wax for some reason this way, but it, maybe not. Um, and I don't remember like which kind of glue this was. I don't know if it was called crystal clear. I'm just using whatever I had. Like I didn't purchase it specifically for making wax seals. I just used what I had, if that makes sense. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead now and do try to make sure I don't have too much of this gilding polish on my finger because otherwise it can get a little messy. But I like the little, and if I get too much, I can kind of wipe it off real fast if I work quickly. I'm just going to put them back in there. It's messy this way, but it's kind of how I like to craft. Which is funny because I'm not a messy person in real life, like with my house or the way I live. So it's funny that with crafting, I'm fine with getting messy. I guess I probably don't get as messy as some people actually now that I think about it. Yeah, some of these feel a little thin, but I think that once I add that little adhesive dot, it's going to be just fine. This is a really pretty rose. I've had that wax seal stamp for so long. Okay, I feel like it's not wanting to focus on these very well, so sorry about that. And then this is an oval shaped one and I wasn't sure how good it would look um, with the circular mold, but I actually really like it. Yeah, a little more. This is getting so messy with my nails, but that's okay. And it's like a wildflower. Okay. Ooh, look at these colors. Yeah, I like when the light color mixes with the, just a little bit of the blue. It's really cool. Okay. I think tomorrow I'm going to make the faux postage stamps that will also be going along with the wax seals for my Patreon members. Um, I've made those before on my channel before as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another circle. Um, so it's kind of like a, you know, it's kind of like a little theme. We're going to have uh, wax seals, postage stamps. I'm doing embossed envelopes. It's kind of a fun month and Instead of postcards or playing cards this month, I am. I ordered some really pretty floral, like, cards. Uh, yeah, I guess blink greeting cards, which will be pretty fun to use in the journals. I've kind of, if, if you've been around for a while, for a while I did, I included a postcard. But I got kind of tired of it because I really used up like all of the good postcards that were available. Um, so I've been changing it up and either including like a playing card that can be altered. Or last month 
It was some little um, like seed packet envelopes. So I'm just kind of changing it up and no one has seemed to complain, so that's good. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna put a little flower on this one. And then maybe I put, that's ready so I can take that out. Cool, that worked. Actually worked great. I'm gonna put some glue here. Oops, this is getting to like the end of the glue and it's like sometimes it won't pump out if I don't have a new stick like pushing down on it. I don't know if that's because that one's old or I think they all kind of do that. There we go. Okay. Let's see if these are ready. I'm starting with this one. Oh shoot. <laughs> Either I took it out. No, it, it was probably just too thin. That's a bummer. That's kind of funny. <gasps> well, that's okay. As you can see, not too many of them are getting ruined, but how do I get this out? That is the question. Oh, I probably need to like let it dry, I guess, and maybe put it in some, well, let's, okay, we'll experiment. Maybe these aren't dry enough yet. No, they're okay. I think that one was just too thin, honestly. Yeah, because these are fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and I save, like I have a bunch of wax that's like falling onto my desk, it's easy to take off. I save these extra wax bits, I put them in this little thing I have over here, and then when I do want to melt wax in the little bowl thing, I can reuse that wax, you know? So, but for this one, I'm gonna experiment. You guys might even be already commenting and telling me how to get this out. I'm gonna just go ahead and fill one up and then I'm gonna put it in there. And if I let it dry long enough, that should work. <laughs> Whoa, that's really dark. Yeah, this definitely gets pretty hot. So if, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. You just have, again, you have to give it a little bit of cooling time before putting your stamp in it. Um, and you can probably get glue guns, or I know you can, that have the high and low um, setting, which would probably be a great idea. And it, probably low would be enough to melt the wax, but I don't know for sure. I guess that's like one of those things you would have to experiment with. Let's see, that time I had to do like three, so. You just kind of have to play around with it. So this is the one, this might look pretty cool if this works out because we have the dark wax and this is the lighter color. Just gonna go for it. That's probably too much, but that's okay. Okay. There we go. Try to get that in the center. Can be a little tricky. And then one more. Oops. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Whoops. Get back to this. And then, yeah, I wonder what time it is. Um, let's see. Oh, I might have missed a few comments. Here, let me put this in here and then I'll read the comments real quick. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, Cindy, I missed a lot of your comments. I'm sorry. Ooh, glitter glue sticks would be, yes, those would be awesome. Great idea. So yeah, in my glue gun, well, so in this one, it's just regular glue. So that is the clear ones here. You can get clear wax, but honestly, I really like, I like how the glue works. 
Um, you can buy glue that is um, crystal clear also. So it's you can see this one's a bit cloudy, almost like vellum, but I really like this personally. Um, so that's just regular glue. And then in my pink one, I'm actually using sealing gun wax and it's just made for the glue gun. Um, so yes, you can get both. Oh, they had something about an oval frame and if you feel, oh, the wax, you have the oval stamp, then it's like an imprint charm in the frame. I think it's making sense to me. Yeah, um, I've seen some people do really cool thing with, with wax seals too. Like you can do different designs and all kinds, there's all kinds of things you can do. So yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this for a little bit, but I might go ahead and open this package. Happy Mail real quick. Let's do that. I've been doing this for uh, quite a bit now. So I'm just gonna let these go. I'm gonna unplug my um, glue guns real quick. And then I can plug back in my snakes uh, lamp. And I got gold all over. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, my daughter always locks that door, darn it. scrape your fingers to get this gold off okay let me see if I can turn the camera around without making you too dizzy oh, my hair is kind of a disaster but that's okay okay sorry guys it's so annoying All that good okay let me kind of fix my hair even though you guys don't care i have a really nice package that i got from ramona um and if you don't know who i'm talking about ramona is from romania and i mean not i don't know she sent me a really nice package um probably a month ago with a ton of gorgeous wallpapers and laces and she has a shop um so i'm actually going to unbox that whole package on a video because um yeah, I think it's just easier way to see everything she sent me. And since she has a shop, like I want you guys to be able to see her work a little bit better. So I'll have a video coming out for that. Um, I did get a package from Jasmine and I don't think there's any reason I can't open it. I think most people know if you send me happy mail, I usually open it on camera because it's just fun to share with everyone for inspiration and all of that. And she packaged it so cute um, with like this wallpaper kind of handmade envelope and thanks to Stephanie for my case of glue. So sweet. I need lotion is what I need. I'm afraid it's gonna squirt out or whatever. Okay. Let's see, there's a little card, so I'm gonna open that. I won't read, if it's a card, I won't read it all on camera, but I just wanna make sure. Oh, this is a really pretty envelope. And since I just ordered some blank greeting cards with envelopes, they actually look like this, they're lined like that, so pretty. And I'm gonna include them somehow into this month's Patreon mail, probably not for all of the tiers, just so you know. Um, but I'll probably decorate them in some way, but that is so pretty. I mean, they're pretty on their own, honestly. But let me just take a peek at her little note. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, this is really pretty, like stationary too. Oh, sorry, everything itches right now, I don't know why. 
Okay, she has, yeah, such a, oh, I'm excited. This is a, the sweetest little letter. So again, I just wanted to kind of skim through and make sure um, that she doesn't mind if I show this to you. Gosh, my face itches. Like, I feel like my hair is itching my face. <laughs> she has an Instagram, by the way. I'm just gonna shout her out because why not? Mini Pug Journals. Like Pug like the dog, P-U-G. I'm pretty sure I'm reading that right. Mini, like little, Mini Pug Journals on Instagram. It's all one word. That way, you know, if you, if you like what she's created here, this is um packaged up so sweetly, sweet, sweetly, nicely. I don't know what I'm trying to say. And let's see here. Cute. I'll, I'll show you, I'll hold things up as I'm opening it, but she has it packaged up so cute. Ooh, okay, fun. This is like a whole little, kind of like a fem ephemera holder sort of thing. You know how sometimes like, I feel like it, oh, this is so cute. It takes me a second to like, know someone else's work but look at this so she has fun little things in this pouch and then um, oh wait it opens this is i love this about interactive things i always wonder if when people buy my journals like it probably i feel like interactive pages take a second to kind of figure out and i love that i think it's so much fun it's kind of like a puzzle and then it opens like this but you can see how it's like an envelope and then she's created little pockets and whatnot and then i'll go through and like grab everything out and then you can open this and there's even more pockets and she has all kinds of fun little things in here. This is a fun little folder. Yeah, it's almost like an ephemera folder. I feel like this is the perfect little folder to have kind of like just next to your desk. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here and you could use like the things in here for like collaging or whatever. We'll go through. I'm going to grab everything out of here, but I kind of curious to see what this is because it looks like some fabric but I see something like oh fun it's, it must be a vintage fabric oh well from 2007 I think oh maybe it says right here sorry it must be like a fabric sample it says craftmaster furniture incorporated I don't know that's just kind of fun very cool and yeah, that definitely looks like kind of um, a fabric sample, I guess. I like that a lot. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to kind of open. There's lots of like collaging papers and pretty little cuttings from magazines. Roses. Love that. I really, really love that. And then you can put those back in the little envelope see again this isn't the best way to show you these things I know that but I want to open it with you guys so um sorry I was just catching up in the comments and then like I said then it opens like this and then you have this little pocket and then other little pockets and there's like vintage tickets in here and oh cool oh maybe I can't remember I was one day I was talking about liking vintage playing cards I can't remember if she had told me she was gonna send me some but there's some in here I love vintage playing cards so much so that's awesome I don't think she's in here right now or I haven't seen her name but yeah so there's like vintage tickets things like that just all kinds of really fun things in here and this is such a cute little folder idea and then, and then you open it up and there's little things on this pocket. It looks like um, napkins for like, you know, collaging or whatever you want. There's these pockets and there's a ton of just like papers and book pages and wallpapers for collaging or whatever you want, really, whatever I want. <laughs> this is really cute. So thank you so much, Jasmine. And again, I'm just gonna shout you out. And if anyone wants to follow her, it's Mini Pug Journals. Um, there's other fun little things in here like 
time cards and stuff too. So thank you, Jasmine. That was so sweet. And it looks like some very vintage uh, paper here. Wow. Yeah, this looks like it's probably from like um, a magazine or something like that. I'm trying to see if there's a date because I'm curious. But very fragile paper. Love this. Hmm, I'm curious. There's probably a date somewhere. It seems very old though. 1932. How cool. Fun. Try to put that back. I'm kind of scared to put that back in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just going to set it in there. I don't want to ruin it right now. So thank you, Jasmine. That was so sweet. Okay, guys. Well, anyways, uh, we've been here for almost an hour. So, uh, yeah, Madeline, it is. I know. It kind of gives me a lot of ideas. Um, I love like ephemera folders and whatnot. Yeah, I'm going to take a break from the wax seals and I'm going to finish some filming. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. It was really fun. And hopefully tomorrow, if I get my stuff together, um, we can make some, some vintage or what would I call them? Faux postage stamp embellishments, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.